Oh, slip string tricks. Woo! 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 Yeah. <laughs> What up, Flow Fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be learning about split string tricks with lovey wands. Say that ten times fast. Split string tricks, split string tricks, split string tricks, split string tricks. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And while you're down there, hit that like button. After a really long time, I got a website. And yes, it is luxluminous.com. 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 I've been digitally creating art, but I've been putting it on leggings and sports bras and skirts and dresses and all kinds of fun things. All the money that is raised actually goes to this, all of this. Every bit helps. If you want to support this channel, head over to Luxluminous.com and subscribe. Please subscribe. So go on over and treat yourself. Back in the day, Grim Zimmer and I developed a lot of the original framework for split string. He just went down to this crazy rabbit hole and it just kind of exploded from there. And if you don't know who Grim Zimmer is, go do yourself a favor. Go look him up. He is my lovey one god. I miss you, Grim. I miss you. Come back to me. I love you so much. So today we're going to go over some of those tricks. So with split string, you could do it with long string or short string. But since, of course, I prefer short string, uh, we're going to go ahead and do it as short string. And we're going to show you how to do it with a ball handle. So you're going to want to start out in regular lovey wand mode. And as you're going back and forth, you're going to land in your non-dominant hand. And you're going to take your thumb and you're going to sneaky, sneaky, put it through this hole here. And as you do that, you're going to let go of the wand and you're going to stick your other thumb through the string. So you're making this kind of triangle business. So if you have a ball handle, you want to make sure that you're using these two outer fingers here, your pinky and your ring finger, uh, to tuck the ball into your hand here. And you want to stick this thumb and this thumb through. Not having the ball handle swivel twisted up in the string allows you to be able to let the ball handle move through the string. And you want to be able to have that kind of that control there. The ball handle needs to be free. So once you have the wand in your bit of a triangle here, you can hold the top of the wand so that way you can get it level. Um, that way it's not all wiggly and whatnot as you're trying to like do split string stuff. You can just oof, grab the top of it and kind of start over. And you want the wand to be very still when you're just doing the split string. You can go up, you can go down, you can go around your head. Ooh. Fancy. So what else can we do with this? Like this is this is cool and whatnot, but I feel like there's something more. And you know what? There is. So what you can do with your wand is called string strikes, and that's where you're going to strike the string against the body of the wand so that way the wand will cradle back and forth in the string. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. You can start it off by holding the top of the wand and forcing it forward, and then you're just going to go back and forth here and kind of cradle it back and forth. And as the wand hits the string, you're going to brace the wand. So brace the wand with the string. And now a POV shot. Oh, check out this POV shot. Oh, you can see the triangle we got. Ooh, we're going to strike the wand. Yep, and then it's going to come back. Strike it again. Oh, you see how we're cradling the wand in the string. So as you can kind of see, the, the wand is kind of isolating on the bottom there. And you can actually take that isolation and oh, go over to the other side. So when you're going back and forth in the in the cradle motion here, you follow the bottom of the wand over. So follow. So back and forth. And then you're going to follow the wand. And you're making this crescent shape with your hands. Crescent shape. Crescent shape. And the wand isn't twisting in the string at all. It's not doing any flips or anything like that. It's literally just going over. So you're just going over. As you're cradling and you're about to make that switch, you can also tell that your ball handle starts from behind the wand. So your, your non-dominant hand, ball handle hand. Okay, so when you're doing the cradle, your ball handle hand is closest to you and your uh, non-dominant is farthest away. So when you cradle over, 
Now your non-dominant hand is closest to you, ball handle hand is farther away. So you're just gonna go. Hmm. So that is a half isolation. We can do a full isolation as well. So same thing. So what you're gonna do is you're going to isolate the bottom of the wand and you're just going to move your hands around. So you can see that the your hands kind of move in this kind of like direction here and it will go in front and behind the wand. And then isolation. So my hands are behind, my hands are in front. My hands are behind, my hands are in front. So you can see now they're behind, now they're in front. And what I would suggest with this trick is to really, you know, have your isolations down. If you don't have your isolations down, this trick is going to be very difficult for you. I should make a tutorial about isolations. There's also other fun things that you can do with split string, like this bad boy. Oh. Oh. You're going to grab the wand in your non-dominant hand. You're going to sneaky sneaky get your thumb through that hole. Bam. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to do a few palm spins. So one, two, and three. So now we have the string kind of twisted up here at the wand. You're going to slide your hands down the wand. So that way there's an even amount of string on both sides of the wand. You kind of want to split that string in half. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to have both of your hands on the outside of your wand like this. And you're going to create a bunch of tension on the wand. And when you move, you're going to switch your hands. You want to do it fairly quickly too. Oh, see that? And as you do it, it kind of moves a little bit, but with more practice, you're able to like do it really smoothly. Now for the POV shots. Well, there we go. We got our three spins in. We got our thumb in there. Both thumbs. We're gonna split that string in half. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna give it a lot of tension. Bam. And bam. And bam. Ooh, wasn't that a cool POV? Yeah. We're getting fancy here. <laughs> so, there's also other fun things that you could do with this trick, like do it to the side. Wow. That's crazy. What you're doing is you're literally just doing the same thing as here, but you're just doing it to the side. And it is a little bit more difficult on the side. Just remember to keep that tension in the string and you should be good to go. So those are just a few of the mini split string tricks that are out there. And before you go, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below. Mm. The wand lab. Wicked fancy.